come in, come on in, come on in. Adjust the camera so that you see properly. That's good. Good afternoon, good afternoon. How's everybody doing on this good old Monday afternoon? I'm just um, pulling up the video so that I can read you guys' comments while I'm doing this preparation. Tonight I'm gonna to make escaviche fish. And um instead of me waiting for tonight to do all the preparations, I'm gonna do it now and I'll do it on camera with you guys. I'm just trying to find the actual video so that, like I said, I can read the comments if some of you are going to be in the chat. So I can read the comments while I'm on the live. Okay. Y'all cool with that? All right, let's go back over here. And I'm looking at this show. It's on, I think it's on Apple TV or I think it's on Apple TV or Amazon Prime. It's called C. Y'all, this show is so crazy. And in this show, it's about um, these people. <clears throat> they all blind except for like a few of them there they can see it was born to uh, a man who wasn't blind who isn't blind um, you have the bad guys and the good guys and they um the bad guys think that there's that the the good guys are witches. It's it's crazy. I gotta check it out. So anyway, make sure I give this video a thumbs up too. We gotta thumbs up the video. So I'm making um escaviche fish tonight, right? And um. What I'm doing right now is just prepping for the escaviche fish. Give the video a thumbs up, guys. <clears throat> and the fish that I'm going to use to make the escaviche fish is going to be that parrot fish that I showed you guys last week. I don't know who was in that live video where I was seasoning all of the fish that I had bought for the day from the fish market. And the parrot fish was one of the fish that I did buy and like I said, my plan is to escaviche and I'm going to do that tonight. So escaviche is basically, it's a, a way that you cook your fish. It has like a, a pickled flavor to it. Um, this is a Jamaican recipe. There are a few things in it that I'm not going to do. Like for instance, I don't have any scotch bonnet. They usually put scotch bonnet in their escaviche fish, but I don't have any scotch bonnet. And I'm not really that keen or, you know, I'm not really into real spicy food anyway. So, um, I like for my food just to have a little bit of a kick to it. So I'll probably just put some 
crushed red peppers in it for this for the spice. So right now I'm just cutting up some um, fresh garlic. That's what I'm cutting up right now. Some fresh garlic cloves. I got three garlic cloves that I'm gonna cut up. So the recipe for the escaviche do consist of vinegar and as you can see fresh garlic and on the side over here I have onions red peppers green peppers and carrots and I'll go live later on tonight to actually cook this in front of you guys but I just wanted to prepare it now so that when I do my live when I do my live video later, I um I'll be able to save time when I'm doing the live cooking show. <clears throat> but I wanted to bring a video to you guys just to show you guys how I do the preparation part of it. Just some more content, you know. <laughs> I got my garlic. Let me get a, um, something to put this in a bowl. Put this in. Hold on. fresh garlic inside this little bowl here. Hey, Selwyn. Good morning. Hey, here for the tea. What happened to your video last night? I was looking for it. This morning, I went to look for it. I, I saw you had... You were going to do a video about mental illness and whatnot, but it looked like you didn't do the video when I went back to look for it. I got some grapes here that I'm chomping on. It's still up. I didn't see it. I gotta go look for it. When I went to look for it this morning, I didn't see it. So, now with the green peppers, the onions and the red peppers, they have to be cut like this, the long way, because of presentation, because of the way that the escaviche fish is prepared, is made, you have to cook, I mean, cut your, your peppers and your onions the long way. So that's what I'm doing now. Because there's a certain look that you want the fish to have. So that's why it's being cut the long way. I've already rinsed these off before we got on camera. <clears throat> yeah, I couldn't look at it last night. I was a little busy, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I knew um, I was going to try to watch it um, in the bushes, but I just decided not even to watch it. I said, I'll just catch it today. I'm about to eat these little pieces of green pepper that. Mm. Y'all eat raw green peppers? Mm. I'm making, um, hey boy, stop capping. Right now, I'm just prepping to make some escaviche fish tonight. I'm making escaviche fish with that parrot fish that I had showed you guys in the video the other day. It's already seasoned. I took it out the freezer, it's throwing out now. So when I get on camera tonight, I don't have to season anything. I don't have to prep any um, peppers or onions or anything like that. It'll all be 
prepared and ready to cook when I get on camera tonight. So we're gonna put these here. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my red peppers. They have to be cut the long way. They gotta be cut the long way. Okay. Ooh. So. See, we cut a knee the long way. And, um, Those of you that wasn't here when I first started the video, Escovish fish, fish is a recipe that, it's a Jamaican recipe. Jamaican people cook this dish and it has like a pickled flavor. So in addition to the red peppers and the onions and things like that, Is all going also going to have vinegar as one of the ingredients. Excuse me. So it's a really cool way to make make fish outside of the ways that we as Americans know how to cook it. You know, and that's typically just fry some fish or make some baked fish. You know, just season it up how we season it up, but this is actually going to be like a sauce that is going to be on top of the fish once I'm done with it. It's, it's so cool. Wait till y'all see it later. Mm. Mm. Hey, Sherby. My sister, your favorite new YouTuber? She not easily. <laughs> Look. Boy, stop capping. I've been trying to tell my sister. To start a YouTube channel for the longest. I don't know why she don't just started because. As you can see. She can talk on the camera easily. You know what I'm saying? She's not, a, she's not shy or ashamed or anything like that. So. I think she would be great as a content creator and she's real. She's just going to give you her, her point of view and her perspective on things straight from the heart. Like she, well, she shoots straight from the hip. It ain't no BS or anything like that. So I think she would do good as a content creator, even if it's not just reaction videos, they're just talking about things in life in general. I think she would do great. So the way that the onion has to be cut is like in circular, in circular, um, how do I want to say this? In circles, they gotta be cut in circles. And again, it's all because, all for presentation. This is the reason why the onion has to be cut in circles. So I'm trying to make it as thin as possible. Hold up, y'all. Okay. So the way that this is not a whole onion, so it's you know it's like a half an onion, so cutting it is into circles is a little bit challenging and it's not it's one of those onions that is not a round shaped onion <laughs> but this is the way that it should look you want to have like literally circles for your onions okay this is how you want your onion to look because this the onion is going to go the way the onion is going to be placed on the fish, you want it to look a certain way. So this is all for presentation. Flavor too, though. Not just presentation, but for flavor as well. Okay. And my sister is a good cook also. Like, 
not only can she do, um, not only would she be good at doing reaction videos and just talking about, you know, topics in general, she would be a great cooking channel video too because, and her food, baby, it'd be banging. She's more, the way that she cook is a little different from me though. She more of a like, she want her food to be sloppy looking and cheesy and sauce dripping everywhere and just, that's how she cook. I'm more of a healthy cook, you know, trying to make different stuff that I, that I never even tried before type of cook. I mean, she do that too, but this is how we want it to look, okay? That's our onions. Some of them didn't come out exactly the same, but that's okay. I'm not going to throw it away. Still going to use it. It just won't look the same as the rest on top of my fish when, once it's done. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to cut this in half as best as I could. Because that's kind of thin. Okay. Right now, I'm gonna cut up the carrots. Mm. So we got our green peppers, red peppers, and the onions on that side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my carrots. This is all for the escovitch fish that I'm going to prepare on live later tonight. Let's see there. I done rinsed the carrots off. So with the carrots, I'm gonna cut it in half, but on an angle. I'm gonna cut it on an angle. Okay. Then I'm going to make these into long slices as well. Same thing with the carrots. I was going to buy um, some shredded carrots, but I wanted the shredded carrots, they was just too short, and the carrots should be like long slices like this, and thin, long thin slices of carrots. So I cut that like that, and then cut it in half like that all right and this is the fresh carrots that came off the um had the little stem on the end and everything that's what type of carrots these, these are they're organic the organic fresh carrots so cut that in half and then do another half chop that again Have you guys ever had escovitch fish or ever heard of escovitch fish before? Put that there. I've made escovitch fish on my channel before. I actually made it, I think, twice, but I didn't. I didn't do it live. They they're pre-recorded videos, and. In those videos, they were done with um, Red Snapper. So this is gonna be my first time trying the parrotfish in general. I've never had parrotfish before. And so this is gonna be my first time tasting it, cooking it, excuse me, and everything right here on camera with you guys. Y'all know I like to cook new meals, new dishes on this channel with you guys. <clears throat> One day I'm gonna make a meatloaf on the channel for y'all. 
I think I'm going to do a, along with the meatloaf, I'll probably do some um, homemade mashed potatoes. Um, and maybe some corn or something. Some kind of vegetable. I don't know. So these are my... So basically, I'm just taking that piece of carrot and just cutting it long ways into thin pieces like this. This piece right here can be cut again. <clears throat> and also, cutting it thin like this is going to help the carrot to cook faster because carrots are pretty thick. They're pretty thick. So going to help it to cook a little faster. So I'm trying to make them make these pieces as thin as possible. Y'all ever had escovish fish or heard of it? Let me know in the chat. Cut my hand now. <clears throat> so when I go live tonight, I'm going to be ready to rock and roll from the beginning. I'll be ready to just throw this food in the in the pot. <laughs> no prepping, no seasoning, no nothing. Everything is going to be ready to cook. Everything going to be ready to cook, y'all. So hopefully, the, the people that um, watch this video will be there tonight so y'all can see the continuation. Shit. Oh, wait a minute now. All right. Why that one was giving me a challenge? So Friday is my birthday. <laughs> I don't have any plans, but... There ain't much you can do in New York with this whole vaccine stuff going on. All this vaccination stuff going on. But I ain't gonna talk too much about that on this on this um video because YouTube they done sent out a um well I didn't they didn't send it out, but I saw on um what's this app that I have on my phone? And it, it gives like updated news and stuff like that. And um, the article was basically saying that YouTube is going to be striking people's channels if they're giving misinformation about the vaccine. And I did a video a couple of months ago that they took down. And all I was talking about in that video was the fact that people wear masks in the car by themselves. I didn't say anything in terms of the vaccine from my opinion. I What I did in that video was... Uh, I was reading comments in the comment section. So when I guess the things that I was reading that the people in the chat were saying was according to them misinformation. So y'all caused them to take my video down and gave me a warning. They gave me a warning basically like if, I, if that happens again 
I um could could possibly I'm if it happens again, I'm not gonna be able to upload videos, I think they said for like seven days. And then after that, it'll be a strike or something like that. So I decided that I'm not even going to talk about that on my channel anymore at all because I don't have time to be silenced because of an opinion on something. It just don't make any sense that we can't talk about what we want to talk about. So, basically, what I was saying was I didn't plan anything because of that, pretty much. I really don't feel like dealing with that. Mm. But I am going to go and pamper myself. I'm going to go and um, get my hair cut. And I'm like super excited about that. I can't wait. Alright, so this is it for the preparation for the escabiche fish. Let me throw this stuff away. And I'll be right back, guys. This show C is so crazy. Y'all gotta watch this. This show called C. These people are blind. And they fight better than people that, that, that have sight, that have sight. <laughs> We are not exactly exactly you are right here for the tea you are absolutely right so here is everything and then this is the garlic the fresh garlic i did three garlic cloves three carrots this was a half an onion and a half a green pepper and a half of a red pepper and all is all of this is going to be for one piece of fish mind you that's going to be a lot for one piece of fish i may not use all of this for one piece of fish now that i think about it so let me show y'all the fish so this is the fish letting it thaw out now this is a parrot fish this is the parrot fish and I'm going it's already seasoned I seasoned it a few days ago what I forgot to do what I forgot to do was, um, I forgot to cut it, like put some slits in it. That's what I forgot. But when I got it from the fish market, they cleaned, they scaled it and cleaned it and everything for me. So I don't have to, I didn't have to clean it myself. Got to put the um, totally forgot to put the little slits in the side of it. That's how the Jamaicans do it. And this, the, the reason for the slits in the side of the fish is so that when you season it, the inside of the fish can be flavored with that seasoning. And um, 
I completely forgot that part. So I'm gonna put this stuff in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put this stuff in the refrigerator so that I can have it for later. And what time is that? I'll probably come back live um, to cook this maybe around seven. Seven o'clock, I think, yeah. Yeah, about seven o'clock. Put this in the fridge. This will be all nice and prepped. And ready to go, ready to cook. Hey, Val. How you doing, honey? I'm making Escovitch fish tonight, Val. So, oh, let me put this in the fridge. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you all how I um, prepare for the escovitch fish. Yeah, have you ever had um, escovitch fish, though? Mm. Now, I've, I've had it before, though. It tastes pretty good. I just want to wanted to do a live video and show my audience how it's made, but I've had it before. It's actually very good. If you like, um, if you like vinegar, because it consists of a, like a, it's like a pickled flavor. So if you like that, that flavor, then I think you would like it. It's like a pickled flavor mixed with a little bit of heat. But for me, I don't put much heat on it because I just like a little kick to my food. Not like, you know, um, really hot and spicy. I just, I like, you know, more of a, just a little kick. Like something that's just going to be like, mm, give it a little mm to it. And I actually just started liking a little kick to my food uh, maybe this past year. I haven't always liked heat in my food at all, to be honest. So, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm, I'm going to come back live tonight around 7. Between 6, six and 7, I'll be back live to do the, um, actually cook it. Everything is prepared. The fish is seasoned. The escovitch, I, I got all my peppers prepared. So when I come back tonight, all I got to do is start cooking. And um, I'm going to see you guys later. I want to thank you all. Ooh, excuse me. Thank you all for watching. Those of you that was here with me from the beginning to the end, I appreciate you. Those of you that was here with me from the middle to the end, I appreciate you. And even those of you that came in at the tail end, I appreciate you. And you want to know why? Because you took the time out of your busy schedule to spend it with me. And for that reason and that reason alone, I appreciate you. So with that being said, I'm going to chat with you guys later this evening. Peace. Bye.